Well, if you've been hanging around here for a while, you probably know by now that I'm big into digital planning and utilizing PDF annotation apps like GoodNotes, Samsung Notes, NoteShelf, Nobility to help plan my everyday life. In a previous video, I showed you how you can take our PDF planning system and customize it and make it your own using an app called UPDF. Yes, this app allows you to create your own hyperlinks, it allows you to edit text, crop pages, and so much more so that you can get the most out of personalizing your digital planner. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you the next level of that application and how you can use it to go beyond just customizing your planner, but use it in your everyday life over a Zoom call to help prepare and show a presentation. In addition, it's gonna help you fill out forms in your everyday life. Now, if you are someone in a creative industry, maybe a graphic designer, and you have to share drafts, there's a way that you can embed a watermark and share that across your review team so that they know that this is a draft, but they are able to comment and notate and help mark up that document. And by utilizing their cloud feature, you not only can share your document, but you can also store it. So if you're someone that's using this program, pay attention to this video. We're gonna show you some of the new features that are being introduced. And if you're someone out there looking for an alternative, a PDF annotation app, a reader that's gonna help you take the next step in your everyday life, you're gonna to wanna to follow along. I'm Brandon Bonifer and thank you for taking a few minutes with me to talk about UPDF and how you might utilize it to personalize the PDFs in your life. If it be from digital planning, to form fill, to creation services, there's a slew of opportunities that this app is gonna help you achieve. All right, so here we're looking at UPDF, the application. You can see here that you have a, a recent list of different documents that you've pulled into. If you wanna pull in a document into it, you can go ahead and uh, pull in a document by choosing that. You can also drop and drag a document into there. And there's also some great features to be able to create any type of batch file. So if you wanna be able to pull in multiple PDFs together, so say if you're putting together a presentation and it consists of three or four PDFs, you could pull those all right into here by adding the files and those would combine that PDF. Uh, that is one of the new features. The other one we talked about a little bit was that UPDF Cloud. This is a space where you can actually add PDFs into the cloud and you can see that those items are gonna show up here and you can have a list of PDFs down here. And then anytime if you're on the go, as well as across different applications, it's important to know that this UPDF application works on Windows, Apple, Android, even your iPad or other iOS. So if you're on your iPhone or something like that, and these documents would all sync. So that makes it really beneficial if you're in a position where you're going to want to share and collaborate, as well as be able to review the notes uh, from one device to another. Now we showed you before in our previous video about how you can make editing and go in and comment and do different things with it. Today we're gonna to go a little bit further than that and expand upon that with some other features that I want you guys to know about when it comes to this application. The other thing we can do is we can go into any file or folder in our computer and we can pull in and simply drop and drag that PDF into the system. Now one of the new features that we wanted to showcase with you is a search feature. I downloaded a user manual for one of my cameras. And a lot of times when it comes to manuals, it's really hard to find all the information of everything that's in there when you look at all the pages that are in this. But I can go into find, and maybe I wanna look for a keyword like ISO. Um, and I can see all the different pages that ISO showed on. This helps me to find additional information that might live and breathe in the document regarding this particular keyword, ISO. Uh, and I can go ahead and I can search and I can also filter if I only want it to be a whole word only, maybe if I wanted to do like um, full size. Now I can go ahead and choose whole words only and now it's gonna show me that phrase. So if you wanted to search by phrase, you could do that. So that is one of the new features in here that I wanna share with you guys. It allows you to search through some of this text. So in the previous video, I showed you this document and I showed you all the possibilities to go ahead and mark up this document and be able to collaborate with it. And you can reference that video if you wanna learn how to utilize 
that. But one of the new features that I wanted to share with you is the ability to go ahead and create a slideshow. Where this is really powerful is say you are in a Zoom call and you have a PDF that you wanna share as a presentation with someone. I can easily go into this button here and I can start from the beginning of the slide or a particular slide in the deck. If I wanna to go to page four, I could choose to go ahead and slide from this current page and that would start the PowerPoint from here. But at any time, if I wanted to go ahead and start from the beginning, I could easily do that. So you can see in a Zoom call where this would be really beneficial for you to be able to go ahead and share your screen with your participating parties, but then also with this, you have the ability to have your deck of notes on another screen so you can see what's coming up in the reel why they see the presentation as the current slide. This new feature is very powerful today in this virtual world that we live in, being able to share and present PDFs as a slide throughout a Zoom conversation or even in person as we get to meet with other individuals. Another new feature that I think is really powerful is the ability to go ahead and create watermarks. So if I can go into page tools here, I can come in here and create a watermark. Now, if you are in the creative space and you are designing a document or sharing a document and you're having others edit or view or collaborate with you, the last thing you wanna do is have a document that someone might think is the final or perhaps mistake for the final document. So I can go ahead and go to add here and I could put in the word draft. And then you can see draft shows up right here. I can go ahead and make that ratio quite a bit larger. So I cover the whole screen. I could drop the opacity so it's not such an interference with the content on the page. And I could change the direction, the color. Maybe I wanna make it red so it stands out a little more. I can do that. And then I can hit save. And then what's neat about that is I can go to each page and you can see that that is there. And at any time I want to re edit that, remove it, I can go ahead and edit it. I decided that, you know what, the red isn't really that great. I have a solid background. I wanna make this white. I wanna bump up the opacity so it stands out a little more. And I'll hit save. And now I can go back through and you can see that that draft stands out a little bit better on some of the pages. But hey, I wanna remove that. I'm done with having that on there. I can easily do that if I hit the remove watermark. Now there's also some additional features to add a background as well as add a header and footer to the document. Those are all new features that are part of this latest update to UPDF. The next thing I wanna show you is how you can use this to edit forms. So a lot of times we get forms that come in that we need to add and we simply can open up that form and be in reader mode and now these blue boxes indicate a space where I can go ahead and fill out the form. And what makes this even more powerful, once I'm able to complete the form, I can go ahead and I could export that PDF as a file. I could go ahead and password protect it. If there was some information in here, such as my social security number that I didn't wanna have shared, but I needed to share this with my employer. So I can go ahead and also share this with others, as well as being able to fire this off in an email, or I can save this as a PDF file. As we enrich ourselves more and more in this digital life, we often find that we need to upload PDF files to various web browsers. And with that, some of these web browsers have file restrictions on how big a file you can upload. With the latest update to UPDF, you now have the ability to reduce that file size. If I go back to the file here that we are working with and choose to reduce this file size. You can see the original document was 119 megabytes. I can then go ahead and choose a different compression setting to help reduce the quality of that PDF, ultimately reducing the size. High setting in this case is going to reduce it. It's gonna give me a file of roughly 20 megabytes. If I wanna to go to the lowest, maybe I need to send this in an email, I can choose this and you can see it went down to 10 megabytes. So the compression of that file was originally 120 megabytes, it brought it down to 10 megabytes. And from there, I can go ahead and save it as a new document, not affecting my original, and I can send this off in an email or publish it to an online website of my choosing. The last set of features that I wanna show you is some of the new features inside the organizational tab. Now you have the ability to insert additional PDFs into the document, you can also replace PDFs, you can extract a section of it. Maybe there was one page in the document such as this that I wanted to extract as a standalone document and I could do that. 
And that way would allow me to extract just that individual page or selections of those pages that I had that I'm able then to collaborate or share with others or simply have outside of this deck. I have the ability to split that document as well as rotate any of the PDF pages inside this organized tool. And you can easily do that. And I have the ability to delete. Now this new organizational tab really helps you restructure your PDF in a way that is more beneficial to you. This is also helpful when you go back to that presentation, that slideshow, if you need to rearrange some of those slides, you can do this here. And then from there, you can jump in to your presentation as we shown before and go ahead and start your slideshow. So there you have it. Those are some of the latest features in UPDF that you can use to help customize and personalize and present your PDFs. If you wanna go back, I encourage you to do so. Check out the description. You can learn about our previous video and all the annotation features that we covered. Guys, if you learned just one thing in this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel if you wanna learn about tech and software that helps you in your digital life be able to plan, organize, and create. And if you have any questions, please go ahead, hit the comments, myself or somebody else in the community, I'm sure will reach out to you. I'm Brandon Bolendorfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner, and Lord willing, guys, we'll see you in another video.